Here's another quick tip. So imagine you want to create this scatter plot. You have geom points and they're all blue and you want to add a border to these points. Well, it's kind of difficult because you already took the aesthetic and this is blue. This is basically the fill color. With rectangles, we do have the color aesthetic, but that's usually the color of the border and the fill aesthetic. But for points, it seems like we only have the color aesthetic. So can we actually add a border to our points? Well, yes, we can. And the reason is that points come in various shapes and the default shape is the shape number 19. So we can just type shape 19, shape, shape <laughs> equals 19, there we go, equals 19. And then, well, nothing changes because it's the default shape. And if you jump to the cheat sheet on the right, you can find the link below this video. You can see that the 19 is the default shape. So what does it mean to be the default shape? Well, points can take various aesthetics. They can take a fill color, a color, or a stroke. And the shapes 15 to 20 only take the color aesthetic. And that's why you're not able to add a border. But if you look further down, you have the shapes 21 to 25, and they indeed have a fill color and also a color. So what we could do, we could take shape 21 and let's make the border white in our case, and let's add, make the fill color blue. Now that we have both aesthetics, you will see that our points suddenly have a white border, as, as you can see here. And we can also change the size of the border if you want to with the stroke argument. Stroke equals, let's go for two to make it really large. So you can see the point. Um, well, that's how you add a border to your points, but you can also change the shape and go for rectangle, for example. So for that, you just use the shape 22 and then you can see rectangles. So that's how you add a border to GM points in ggplot2.